Hello Northside Christian College students! In this video I'm going to give you a quick rundown of how to use Schoology. Schoology is a program that we use here to uh, deliver course content. It's where we put all the materials you need for your learning, it's where you respond uh, and submit work, and it's where your teachers can give you feedback as well. So it's really important that you've got a really clear grasp of how to use this wonderful platform. So when you first log in, you'll probably see something like this. I'm enrolled in only one subject. Hopefully you're enrolled in more than one. You might be enrolled in four to 10, depending on what uh, class you're in, what year level you're in. Um, and as soon as you're logged in, uh, the first thing you can see down the right hand side is a list of overdue work and upcoming work. So that's a really handy way to see if you're falling behind and also what's coming up. Now, because I'm only in one course, I've only got one task coming up, you're likely to have more. Uh, but you can also see that I've got three overdue tasks. So it's really important that I get to these straight away. So you could click on any one of these to open them and then submit. But I'm gonna show you how you can navigate the course and see the full structure of the course first. So I'm going to click on year 10 English here and I'll go into that course. You can see there's multiple folders set up um, which show sort of the structure of the course and I can go into these to see the work that I'm currently doing. If I go into week one and two there's a few things here that I need to submit some of which I didn't. Um, so let's have a go right now of opening and submitting one of these things. Uh, so I will do uh, this one, History of Film Language. I'll click on that to open it. And as soon as it opens, you can see I actually already have submitted something to this one. Uh, but here it says resubmit assignment. If I hadn't submitted already, it would just say submit assignment. So I can click on that. Sorry, before I click on that, I should have a look at what I need to do. So now that I'm in this assignment, I can read all the instructions. There's videos to watch, there's links to follow, and I can work through that and make sure that I understand what I need to do. Here in red, this teacher has told me what I need to do. So now, like I said, that I've gone through that content, I understand what's required of me, I can submit an assignment. It opens a new panel here where I can upload a file. So if I've done my work, say in Word or um, Pages, or perhaps I've made a video file or something like that, I can submit that by uploading. You can also type straight into, um, into here. So if I click Create, I've got some options here. I can change my font and things up here and I can type in my response. So that's a handy way to submit as well. And when I'm done, I hit submit and that work will be uploaded, ready for my teacher to view and to give me feedback on. Now, here's an assignment where I've already submitted. Um, and if I open this up, you can see on the right hand side here, my teacher has given me some feedback. My teacher happens to be me. Uh, Mr. Gat has given me some feedback. Uh, here's, my, here's what I submitted and here's the, here's the feedback that the teacher's given. If I have questions or need to follow anything up, I can, con I can continue the conversation by typing into the chat window down the side here and my teacher will see that and be able to respond. Another thing that it's really important that I do is when I'm in a particular course, on the left hand side here it says grades. Earlier I showed you that there's the overdue and upcoming work on the right hand side of the home page, but sometimes it's important to drill in a bit deeper and have a look at, um, at this summary. You can see under the heading of coursework there's several tasks that I'm meant to have done. Uh, one out of one indicates that I've submitted, oh sorry, the little um, bluish whitish page symbol means that I've submitted something. And then one out of one is my teacher saying tick. That's my teacher's way of saying this is satisfactory, you've done a fine job and you're ready to proceed. This second one here, I've submitted something but my teacher said zero out of one. That means uh, it's not good enough, there's something wrong with it. And actually my teachers put a note on the right hand side here, you haven't answered the last question. So I can now click on that task, go straight back into it and make sure I answer the last question and resubmit. Continuing down, I've got another one out of one, so that's fine. There are two tasks here that have the paper symbol, but no mark next to it. What that means is I've submitted, but my teacher hasn't got round to marking it yet. 
So I just need to be patient or perhaps remind them uh, that I've submitted that and ask how they're going with it. Next one's fine, another zero out of one and another comment. And then down the bottom here, you can see um, oh, th this one, one out of one with no submission. Perhaps that was something that was uh, submitted offline. So I didn't submit something on Schoology, but I gave something to my teacher and they've given me one out of one. Whereas here, same thing, I submitted something offline, but I got a, I got a zero out of one. So I need to do that again. You can see I've the teacher's written uh, that my written response or my offline response was incomplete and I need to see my teacher for assistance. I need to follow that up so that they can change that to a one out of one. And then moving down a bit, I've got a few here that are just blank. I haven't submitted anything and there's no mark. These are the ones that are showing as overdue because the due date has passed and I still haven't submitted my work. Um, this last one here isn't due until tomorrow, so that one's fine. I can look at the due date and confirm that that one's fine. Um, but all of these ones should have been done already and are now overdue, so I need to get onto them. So that's why it's really helpful sometimes to go to the grades list to get a quick snapshot and see if there's any zeros or any other feedback that I need to get. But generally speaking, just going into the home screen and just seeing this list of overdue and upcoming tasks can be a really helpful way to get started to see what you need to do on Schoology. Hope that was helpful. And if you have any questions, always you can see your teacher or, um, or your homeroom teacher, or maybe even other students might be able to give you some advice about how to use Schoology. Good luck with it.